miniature art. Public places. Lavatories. Toilets. Water. Bad water. I just got a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. Hi, I'm Corey Amato. And I'm Andrew Cawthorn, and you're watching Mashup. Here's our act fact for the day. The James River Film Festival starts Monday the 31st and runs through Sunday, April 6th. This is a celebration of independent film, video, and animation. Andrew sat down with RVA director David Williams, whose film Bad Girls shows on the last day of the festival. Just, uh, tell me what Bad Girls is about. Bad Girls is a group in town, two people, Keith e. Pierce and Georgia Terry, who uh, formed this company maybe 10 years ago, where they were both, they were both artists and they were producing personal art, but they were also, they had these ideas of more commercial art. She dreamed she married Elvis Presley before he got fat. Well, the initial appeal was that I, uh, I was really intrigued by the personal art because it felt like it was coming from a deep kind of psychological feeling about things. And, and, and I find the more uh, commercial art a lot of fun. I started in 2000, I think, and uh, I basically finished shooting about 2005. I shot uh, close to 100 hours. It took me you know, several years to edit, and I'm still actually going back and thinking about things. They're going to put our images on uh, ceramic plates and coffee mugs and drinking glasses, Christmas ornaments. I'm going to kill myself the day they're on Christmas ornaments, but I mean that is, I will know that I am truly a whore. Actually we're presenting it as a work in progress. Okay. And I've, I've made one draft I thought was finished, but I'm still thinking about it, so I'm going to show it as a work in progress. I love the idea of exploring, I usually work with people and people that are interacting with other people, and I just love to observe that. There's cute southern ones for them, but they say When I first started, there were, you know, everyone shot on film, and it was really expensive, there were, and there really were only a few people doing it. And now there are, you know, many, you know, they, anyone can be a filmmaker. As you pointed out, I should be chill, because I've had, like, a uh, glass of wine, acupuncture, three, <laughs> three cigarettes, and a black Russian. All you foodies need to see King of Corn for a look at where our food comes from. Fans of the band Joy Division will want to see Control. And fans of local director Richard Kelly's cult classic Donnie Darko can see a director's cut and his follow-up film Southland Tales. For a full schedule, go to rmicweb.org. Richmond's Real Small Art League is a funky combination of random acts of kindness and positive public art. Or, it's an ongoing art awareness campaign for inspiring creative compassion. We set out to learn all about small. The Real Small Art League is about putting artwork in the path of everyday life and real people. There are about 22 people who have registered and about 10 who are actively posting work right now. I started to create these miniature works of art that I then gave away to my friends and once I'd given them away to my friends I wanted to kind of put them out there to find a path of their own, a life of their own. And it made me um, want to create more work and then the response I got from the people who found the work inspired me to keep going. I don't have a lot of time. I'm in school and I work and doing small art is probably um, the best thing that I can do right now. And I, I like being creative, so this is a great outlet for it. We want it to be in publicly acceptable public places, so we're really trying to provide inspiration for young creative people to put artwork in the community that's not destructive and that's positive and that it also creates sort of this artistic awareness that there are people in the community creating artwork every day. What have we learned today, kids? Bigger is not always better. Picture over 30 artists creating unique miniature works of art and everyone doing something different to reflect their own body of work. To find out more about the Real Small Art League, go to iknowtiffany.com. This week's featured poster is LOL Command Print BFF Foeva. Portfolio brought to you by the very talented Studio 23 printmakers. It's their grand opening reception at Plant Zero from 6 to 11 tomorrow night, March 29th. Command print performance, people. 
Check back on Monday for another Mashup Rewind, where we highlight our best episodes from the past month. Our top five. Well, our top five. Same difference. And we found another Richmond band you need to hear about. And we'll tell you who they are next time. So then, I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And I'm Corey Amato. Peace out, Girl Scout. You cannot just say that. I, I really <laughs> did just say that. And positive public art. 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 art, art. All you foodies need to see King of Corn for a look at where our food comes from. <laughs> King of Corn is creating unique miniature works of art and everyone doing something different to reflect their own <laughs> body of work. Run on sentence. Picture over 30 artists creating unique miniature works of art and everyone doing something different. Act fact for the day. The James River Film Festival. <laughs> One more time. This shows from the past month. At the stars. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Another band performance. Woo! Your excitement concerns me. It's kind of weird. <laughs>